Today, I'm going to teach you how to build an AI call support agent with Task AGI. Have you ever wished you could call on your best support agent and have them available 24-7 to handle customer calls? Well, today, I'm excited to show you how you can make this happen with Task AGI. This isn't just some futuristic fantasy, it's a real powerful tool that's ready to go right out of the box. Essentially, um, our AI call support agent is a pre-built workflow that leverages some incredible technology to automatically handle your incoming customer calls. This agent can intelligently answer questions, understand customer needs, provide instant support based on your knowledge base and even know when it's time to hand things over to a human agent, you know, uh, when it faces some more complex issues. So what does that mean for you? It translates to significantly faster response times for your customers, you know, no more waiting on hold. It also drastically reduces the workload on your support team. Ultimately, it leads to happier customers who feel heard and supported, which is a huge win for every business owner. So before configuring the agent, uh, you're going to need to set up a few integrations. First, you will need a Task AGI account. If you don't have one, it's incredibly easy to get. Just go to this URL and get yourself an account. Next, you need a Twilio account, along with an associated phone number. But uh, don't worry, you can get one for free, and they actually give you like $20 in free trial credits. So, Twilio is like the actual engine behind the agent that manages the actual phone call interactions. You know, things like routing incoming calls to the AI agent. You're also going to need an API key from either OpenAI or Cloud, depending on your preferred AI model provider. Um, this language model is actually used to communicate between your agent and the person on the phone. You know, that's what generates the text response that we're going to convert to text-to-speech. Okay, with all the integrations covered, let's get to the fun part. Actually deploying our AI call support agent. So once you're logged into your Task AGI account, you're going to see this dashboard. Next, what you want to do is um, find this page called Browse Agents. So once you find that section, you should see a library of different agent templates designed for different purposes. So scroll through and you will see this AI call support agent template. Click on that uh, deploy button. This should immediately take you, to, take you to the agent workflow with all the details configured for you. Take a quick look and familiarize yourself. This is your workflow where all the magic happens. All right, the template is now deployed in your AI agent workflow. Now, unless you're, you're not building your agent from scratch, there's no need to change connections as, um, as they're already configured for you. But we still have to complete some integrations as you see here. So let's go to the integrations page and we can start with Twilio. Let's just find it in here. Here it is. Click on connect. So these are some of the settings uh, we need to configure. We can find these values in your Twilio dashboard. Just uh, over here. Just copy paste them. Make sure they're correct and click on this button. Next, let's connect your preferred AI model. Here, we're going to use OpenAI since it's the fastest and one of the most affordable APIs. So, all you need here is your API key. By the way, um, all your keys are encrypted and not visible to anyone else except you. Even you can see it just once. So, to change it, you will have to delete this and add a new one. You can find, you can find your API key in OpenAI platform, 
it's it's also called playground or something like that yeah so go to api keys section and just create a new one for security purposes it's good practice to separate different platforms so create one and save it in here so we are done with the integrations now um let's go back to dashboard and click on our agent and of course we forgot one more integration which is text to speech let's get this done very quickly go back to integrations and find fast agi over here click on connect so once you're on the api page quickly create a demo for yourself and copy paste this api key over here and click on save now we are actually done and we should be able to deploy our agent and there you go we're actually ready so one last crucial piece we have to configure is of course our knowledge base this is basically your prompt that tells OpenAI how to respond to customer questions so I recommend creating a list of all the customer questions you repeatedly get and write them down. Make sure to customize this to your organization, of course. So now that we covered the setup, let's take a quick look at how this agent actually works and finish a few remaining settings. So we start our agent uh, with this trigger node, uh, which is called on new call. It's a trigger node connected to your Tavilio account and it constantly listens for incoming calls to your configured phone number. So when a new call arrives, this node activates and kicks off the rest of the workflow, passing along call information like the caller's number and uh, the speech the caller is making. It's basically a gateway for all incoming call interactions. But to make it work, we need to take this webhook over here and introduce it to our Tavilia account. So Tavilia actually knows where to send a request to when you get a phone. So all we have to do is copy this number, go back to Tavilio, and um, manage phone numbers, go to active numbers, click on your phone number, and go to this voice configuration section. So we have to configure this field called a call comes in, set this to webhook and paste your URL, which is unique to your agent. Paste it over here and make sure it's set to HTTP post, not get. So when you're done, save this. So next up, we have knowledge base in our agent. Its only purpose is that when a call comes in and after the initial interaction, this node can be used to search your knowledge base for relevant information based on what the caller is saying or asking. For example, if the caller is asking something like, hey, there's too much lag on my Minecraft server, can you help with this? This node will tell OpenAI to generate an answer um, based on based on your knowledge base. Also, uh, since it's a template, you need to customize this a lot. After creating your knowledge base, make sure you're also passing the right values from the previous node. So you have to delete this tag and add yours over here. That's it. When done, make sure to click apply and save. So by doing this, you are successfully moving the text output of your Tavilio call to your knowledge base, which we will use as your prompt in the next step. And next up, we have OpenAI for generating text. So this is where the core AI intelligence is. You know, using a model like GPT 3.5, 4, 4.5, it takes inputs which is a predefined prompt that we configured in our knowledge base earlier. And it tells the AI how to behave and answer questions. 
It then processes this information and generates the natural language text response. So in short, this node is responsible for understand the caller's intent and formulating an appropriate answer. Just make sure you have um, you have your OpenAI API configured in inside the integrations page. So far, our agent can receive a phone call, look up an answer in your knowledge base, and generate a response. But we actually need to create the audio that will be played back to the caller. That's where HyperVoice comes in. Um, it's a super realistic text-to-speech model created by Task AGI. And the V3, um, this version is specifically built to be super fast for real-time applications such as this AI agent. So it takes this text response uh, generated by OpenAI and converts it into natural sounding speech. So as I said, it's optimized to be incredibly quick, which is super crucial for call centers. You might be able to select different voices and set different speeds as well as like even uh, use different voice models if you prefer, but they all come at an extra cost, so I wouldn't recommend that. Just try it yourself. Um, you will find V3 to be super realistic. Next up, we have another crucial core utility called function. So um, this node is responsible for executing this custom JavaScript code. It's necessary because Tvilio expects a um, response in a very specific XML format. So that's why we construct the correct response. You should only change this um, webhook URL here. Just um, go back to your trigger node, copy this webhook URL, go back to your function and paste it in here. That's it. Apply and save. And our final step is respond to webhook. So this node is responsible for sending a response back to the service that triggered the workflow, which in this case is Tevilio, of course. So what it does is um, it takes your text-to-speech from the hypervoice node, which is processed by the function node, and sends it back to Tevilio, which then the audio is played back to the caller. All you have to do here is take this um, node result, drag and drop it in here, apply and save. Remember, this AI call support agent template is a fantastic foundation, but it's also highly customizable within Task AGI. For example, you can include other tools within the agent, such as Google Drive to save customer information or even take reservations if that's what your business needs. Anyway, uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you're as excited as I am about the possibilities of these AI agents. Um, if you want to watch more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.